Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to, to DEF CON. All right, we got Laura, water meter security analysis. This is your presenter, Jim Lee. Give him a, give him a warm welcome. Thank you, everyone. Uh, first, uh, I'd like to clarify that this work is not only done by myself. It was done by many, done by my, my, my team, my team members. And one of the members, uh, because the U.S. consulate rejected his, uh, of his visa, so he not, cannot be here. So, yeah. Uh, every year we got speakers rejected uh, of the visa. I think uh, this young man might be a uh, uh, big national security threat for the U.S. consulate. Okay, I'm going to record a short video for him to, to get him uh, what he feels to a president in front of such a huge bunch of uh, hackers. So everybody. Oh, just, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's shout out for Ethan Intel. His name is Intel, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, every year I got many friends rejected. Uh, so let me quickly introduce my company and our team. Uh, my, my team is called Unicorn Team. We are doing wireless security, hardware security, and so on. And uh, we are from uh, the largest security company called 360 Security Technology in China. And uh, today I'm going to uh, present how the, the, the process we, we took to analyze this this uh, so-called smart smart water meter. So this is how it looks like in real life. So you know, on the left, you can see there is, it's like, just look like a normal water meter, but there is a dial, a red circle. So that's just like a magnet. So when, when the water meter runs, the magnet will rotate, and there will be a, a magnet sensor on the, on another cover on the next slides I will show you. And on the right is a, a solar panel, solar pa panel powered uh, gateway, which uh, just like relays the uh, uh, water meter data uh, to the server uh, via the GPRS. But the communication between this water meter and the gateway is using uh, LoRa, which is kind of a priority, priority, um, priority uh, protocol. And this is the uh, a uh, camera of that a water meter when you disassemble it, there is a circuit board uh, and there is a, an antenna and also there, this is the gateway which you can see there is a, uh, on, is a uh, GPRS module and a LoRa transmission module. So this is the, uh, actually the parameters of the, and the models of the chips. So you can see there is an MCU, which is used to configure the uh, LoRa chip every time it pops up, because uh, this might be, um, so we will later introduce how we can uh, attack the communication between the uh, MCU and the LoRa module. And, and we have the antenna, antenna parameter and the battery. So, so this, uh, the, the way, why they are going to use, use this LoRa mm, communication because it's low power. So this uh, little battery can power it up to 10 years. years. So, so that's, that's why, why they are using this. And uh, there is a hard uh, sensor to, like, to detect the rotation of the magnet, as, as I said here. So there is, I don't know if you can see it. There's a pointer or something? No. So uh, there, there, there is a magnet sensor called TMR301 that can detect the water meters uh, when it's running. And, and there is a MCU to configure. Uh, MCU is here to configure this uh, normal uh, chip. And this is a gateway disappointment. So there is a uh, GPRS module here, uh, the white. White, white rectangle, rectangle. And, and there is a NORA module. module. So, so it's, it's just, just like a very typical architecture for an IoT device. device. And, and uh, there is a uh, uh, EP room for, to, to store the, the data, data uh, maybe to when it's in the GPR city, uh, to, to, to maybe buffer the, 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 the water meter data. data. 
and uh, actually the, the gateway is usually implemented in the case we're using a different uh, chip, but they are using the same chip as the, uh, as the water meter, so uh, they have to use, because this is cheaper than to use another like, chip dedicated to, for, the, for the gateway. Now let's, let's talk about how we can like, like fix the, uh, the water, water meter data. data. So, so you can, can as, as we said, that they are just, just you detecting the rotation of the magnet. magnet. So, so we can, can use a strong magnet, magnet to put it near the, 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 the sensor TMR301 sensor, sensor to just to interfere the, 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 the signal. So, so you can see, see it. When, when the magnet rotates, the voltage uh, produced on the, the, the water meter, the, the, the sensor will, will change. So uh, we, we can, can use, use uh, you can see, if the, the, there's no, no point. Okay. okay. So, so you, you, you can, can see that the, this, when the magnet is in, in this angle, there is a, uh, 400 millivolt voltage, and when it, the angle change, the, the voltage change accordingly. So uh, this is how they can detect the water meter when it's running. So we use a strong magnet to interfere with this uh, magnetic magnet field. So because the, the cover is a plastic, so it's it's still working. So you can mm, mm, prove the sensor data to say that we are we are not using any uh, water. But this can be uh, caught if they go to your, come, come to your house and uh, actually take the uh, look at the, 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 the water meter. So that's one way to, to spoof the sensor data. And uh, another way is just to, just to dis dis disassemble it and uh, use a uh, like, voltage regulator to uh, spoof the the, the sensor voltage. It's, it's a same effect. effect. So the LoRa frequency is different uh, in each country. So this is, uh, for, for example, in the US, it's 915 uh, megahertz. So in, in the other countries, uh, it's different. So when you're trying to like re do research on this kind of NORA-based device, you have to uh, maybe tune your, your SDR device to that frequency in order to catch the signal. So this is the format of the packets. So you have this preamble, which will notify the receiver that there's a packet coming, and you have this uh, up chirp, down chirp that uh, encoding data. So, and uh, the, 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 actually, there is a very pretty complex set of parameters you, you need to configure. So, uh, when we do uh, wireless research, security research, we often use like STR. So we have to configure the parameters for for the for the for the receiver or for the decoder. So mm, there are many sets sets of configuration. So uh, actually, uh, uh, researchers from the U.S. company Bastion, they are. Uh, doing required security, so they did something to like uh, to decode the LoRa traffic, but the way we tried their their code, but it's not working. I guess it's uh, because the configuration of the parameters are different. So we have to wrote our own uh, decoding code for for this uh, traffic. So actually, we uh, one of our team member wrote uh, the the code to. Uh, you using MATLAB to decode the traffic, and we upload it, it, this module to the, our GitHub. So if you are interested in doing some more research in the future, you can go to look at the code. But this is still not very easy to use, so uh, we, we switch to another method. So actually, uh, because I said, as I said, there is a MCU used to configure the Anora module every time it's, uh, it's powered on. So what it does is uh, using SPI serial communication to uh, configure the, the, the Anora module, uh, the, the, all the parameters, which frequency uh, and the, the, the different uh, like spectrum factors, something like that. So we used the, the 
this logic analyzer to uh, capture the uh, traffic on the serial uh, communication uh, interface, and we got the, we we can figure out how this uh, 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 NORA front and NORA transceiver is configured. So, and then we just go and buy another uh, NORA module and use the same configuration in order to receive the traffic to decode the traffic. So, it's it's pretty. Uh, Smart this kind of. So you have to, you know, once you got all the traffic uh, on the serial com communication, you have to figure out what uh, those traffic means. So we got this. Uh, we figure out it by looking at the documentation where this is what kind of instruction means what. So for example, there this you, when you see this uh, traffic, it means that set the frequency to the. Uh, 490, 92.25 megahertz. That's the frequency we mentioned in, in the previous slides where we say that we say that different countries are using different frequencies. So you can see this is uh, the Chinese frequency. Okay, we, now we got the configuration. So we use another module to configure it the same way. And we can see the traffic. Okay, so now we got the traffic. We have to reverse engineer the communication protocol and say to say what how they like transmit the data. Um, yeah, surprisingly, we find it not encoded. It's just in sent in plain text. Perhaps they think that Sonora uh, communication is by itself is very hard to decode. So this they are using kind of like. Um, there is a proprietary uh, protocol. So there is a unique ID of each uh, water meter. And uh, actually, we can uh, spoof all the traffic here. And uh, they are transmitting the, the, the water usage data and uh, also the temperature. So, so let's uh, see if. Uh, the privacy, privacy risks. For example, if I see that uh, there is no water usage, because the, the, the water usage data is sent in, is transmitted in plain text, so we can actually save the data to say if somebody is at, at home using their uh, water meter, and uh, or so we can actually profile the habits of this uh, user. Uh, so to say if uh, his working routine when he comes home and when he leaves uh, for work, something like that. And uh, we can also like, like spoof the data to make somebody like see where we can see that they are using a lot of water and get their overcharged. And uh, we can also for the, uh, for the, uh, Gateway to issue instructions, for example, you, uh, because uh, this is like the four duplex communication, uh, this is like the two-way communication. So not only the water meter have to uh, upload water usage data, but also the, 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 the server might issue some uh, command to the to the water meter. So uh, we and. Uh, and also, the NORA is not only used in uh, water meter. So you, you, they are using used to control gas valves or other like, um, just like you can think of it like, like some similar, similar like GPRS or ZB, they can be used anywhere to, to build a connected device. So we, if we can uh, like, uh, get the traffic or through the traffic, we can cause uh, other chaotic uh, consequences. So this is their uh, all who like how the, 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 the communication links works. So the water meter uh, actually uh, send the data to the gateway and the NORA gateway uh, to trans send the data to the server using GPRS and GPRS. Everybody knows that the traffic is that that that, that, that communication link is not safe. Everybody maybe can sleep or spoof the traffic. So we can use like fake base station to uh, to, 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 to to attack those to do man in the middle or to just spoof the, the gateway. And the, 
So this is uh, my colleague trying to uh, uh, sleep the GPRS traffic. So we set up this uh, base station open using BT, uh, open BTS, and uh, we managed to get this uh, gateway to communicate to our fake base station. And actually, this is very common kind of attack in, especially in China. So people are using maybe like like uh, uh, this GPRS to unlock shared bikes. So people are just trying to spoof the uh, unlock command to make the bike open itself. Yeah. So we are doing that. This is kind of very common common techniques. So when we got the uh, when we when got the base fake base station set up and the the what gateway connect to our fake base station, we can see what data it it send is sending to the uh, to the server. And then we use we analyze it using Wireshark and to and, and to reverse engineer the the, 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 the protocol used to between the gateway and the server. So this is uh, uh, how the, the, the traffic look like. So you can see there's a uh, gateway ID, there's a header and counter count code, and also payload. So all kind of uh, information. Again, it's not it's not encrypted. It's just using a uh, CRC to 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 check the integrity of this packet. So. So we can actually, uh, as I said, we can like spoof the gateway to transmit fake water meter data, uh, water usage data to the server. So now let's take a look at the overall uh, communication link, the water meter to the gateway, gateway to the server, and uh, so we have uh, reverse engineered the. Uh, two communication link, and uh, they're using all, all kind of private, two, two proprietary uh, communication protocol. So uh, the one is over LoRa protocol, uh, over LoRa, and another one is using uh, over GPRS. So let's once again to see this a whole like test environment. We have this magnet to interfere with the magnet sensor. We have this. Uh, an, a Duno module used to, to uh, configure the uh, module, the LoRa module we used to sleep the traffic because we have like reverse engineering the com com configuration process of the uh, MCU to the to the to the uh, LoRa module, so we can use Arduino to Arduino to configure our module to sleep the traffic. And uh, the next step is to, to like using Open BTS to reverse to analyze the uh, communication between the server and the uh, gateway. So, con so in con conclusion, that the, uh, we can see that. The, So there are, once again, we can like sleep in user privacy data to profile this user, and, and we can uh, actually uh, to forge the, the data in each stage, the NORA stage, where the, the, the water meter uh, communication with the gateway. We can spread traffic between the gateway and the server. So actually, we we uh, we we have to like every time we we break something, we have to figure out out a way to actually remediate or just to to, to remediate it. So this uh, is using Nora W um, Nora Wider uh, Van Protocol. This protocol is brought up by Nora Alliance and. Uh, uh, So, 
So we can use, for example, to prevent the data from being uh, spoofed or forged, we can use message integrity, like maybe like hash maps, like based on some kind of encrypting, encryption key to check the integrity of the packets. We can also use some uh, like encryption. Uh, I, I think, think that why why didn't they use encryption, encryption in, the in the first place is because, because this is like quite a uh, low power application. Uh, the encryption may take may consume has consume, consume a lot of power. So, so that's, that's why they didn't like encrypt the water meter in the first place, place. or they just like think. Uh, like, like obscurity, obscurity like, like security, security something, something like that. They think the LoRa is hard to decode. It's, it's, it's not like, like the GPRS that you can easily like, like, like to, to, to speed the, the traffic. traffic. So, so, so we, can, we can we prove that this is not possible. possible. We, we can, can still like get to traffic. traffic. So, so they, they have, have to improve, uh, improve the, the, the security by encrypting uh, the traffic in each state. So we, we have this, uh, this is actually the LoRa, uh, the uh, standard by LoRa Alliance, and everybody can look at it. They, they are, there are like the security measures, but it seems that they are not following it. So we, so anybody has, and have any questions? We, this, this is a ref reference. The, the past year research, they have done a great job by like proof providing people with uh, the code to decode the uh, LoRa traffic. And we have this, uh, uh, all kind of resource resources. So anybody has, has questions? Or oh, no? OK, you, you. Uh, okay, I will, I will try my best to, to answer your question. Yeah. Sure. How can the company protect their infrastructure? Uh, you, you already deployed infrastructure. How can they protect that? Yeah. I don't, I don't think, think they, they can, can they can actually, actually do, do that because, because usually when you use this kind of communication, you don't implement some kind of over the air update mechanism. So you have to like maybe replace the infrastructure. So you have to think of security in the first place. Or you just like, for example, the magnet stuff. You 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 can change the plastic cover in to a like metal. Metal cover, and so that will be uh, prevent uh, somebody used to interfere with the magnet sensor using a strong magnet. So if if somebody don't want to pay water fee, they just put put this magnet on the water meter, so it's not running. So yeah. So any anybody else has question? Okay, thank you.